This month, March Madness kicks off a tournament to remember, but probably not one you're used to. In the spirit of college basketball tournament, the library is hosting a playoff bracket where different poems square off with one another to see which one takes top honors. The tournament has been implemented recently by various schools across the country, looking for a fun and engaging way to celebrate written art. We spoke to our librarians and teachers to see how the matchups work and how to participate. March Madness poetry, I called it poetry pandemonium, is really just a way to expose students to a bunch of different poems and make sort of gamify it. And so March is, tends to be a long month in school without a lot of breaks like other months have, unless you're in the musical. So it's a competition between 16 poems that I chose, and they were somewhat random, um, but they just sort of needed to be short enough to put on the wall and um, be able for people to read two poems and decide which one they like the best. The Poetry March Madness bracket created by Rochelle is excellent because it engages um, personally two of my favorite things, uh, poetry and basketball, which you wouldn't think go together, but I think they do. I think uh, Rochelle and Ty did a great job making the bulletin board and um, engaging English classes, but maybe it should be pushed out um, you know, in advance to everybody and get more people involved, even if they're not in an English class. The brackets move up just like the basketball tournament, um, and we will end up with a single champion, um, hopefully at the end of the month. Uh, I would do it again next month for National Poetry Month as well, with a different, um, maybe a different theme. Thanks for watching! If you would like to cast your vote in the March Madness Poetry Bracket, please be sure to visit the library throughout the month.